Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to introduce Streamlit. So Streamlit is an open source framework for creating data applications in Python for machine learning and data science teams. This video is going to give a quick overview of Streamlit and all the details are going to be omitted. The purpose of this video is to give a short tour of Streamlit making it easier to dig into the excellent documentation available at this link. So if I press this link, we see that there is a chapter called Get Started and different sections under that chapter. The section you should start with is installation and depending on if you have Windows, Mac or Linux, you go to the corresponding section. So I'm using Windows, so I go to Windows. And there we see that the officially supported environment manager on Windows is Anaconda. And Anaconda is what I'm going to use. After reading through the installation part, you can go to main concepts and then create an app. Under create an app, there are different explanations of different concepts and also code examples that are really, really helpful. At the bottom of this section, There is a header called share your app and if you would like to share your app publicly you can deploy it and instructions on how you can do that you can read about that here. Finally you can read about multi-page apps. As I said if you wish to share your app publicly through a link you can deploy it and if you want to see the details for that read the documentation and or check the video link that I provide here. All the material from this video is going to be available at GitHub and to get the link for that check out the video description. So with that said we are ready to check out some code on how to create a Streamlit application. Now it's time to start looking at some code. And as usually, I start by importing some packages. Then I'm loading in the data and creating two NumPy arrays called X and Y. Then I'm plotting out the data. And if I run this code, then we see the data. And looking at the plot, it seems like there is a positive relationship between Y and X. Then I'm creating a linear regression model that I'm first initializing and then fitting. So I run this code. Then I create a new data set that we will predict with our fitted linear regression model. So I run that code and then I'm plotting both the data and our model predictions. So looking at the plot now, we see that the data is represented by blue dots and the model predictions are represented by a red line. Okay, so that was some basic code and now it's time to start looking at the code that creates the Streamlit application. So I'm going to basically cover some main things and then you can check out the details by looking at the code yourself. So the first thing I'm doing is that I'm creating a navigation menu with three different sections that the user can choose among. And these three sections are purpose, data and modeling and then next step. If the user chooses the section Purpose, then he will see a title, a header, and then some text that's written out. Next, if the user chooses the section Data and Modeling, again he's going to see a title, some text, and so on. But here we also see that we're making a plot, and more specifically we are plotting out the data. And then there will be an interactive checkbox and if the user checks it, he's going to see the raw data. And if, if he doesn't check it, he's not going to see the raw data. So with this code, basically the application is interactive. And then here, I'm going to plot out the data and also the model predictions. And then there's going to be a prediction interface, which is created by this code here. And then the final section is next step 
And here the user is going to see a title and some text. So now we have looked at the code and the natural next step is to look at how does the application look like. And in order to start the application, you will have to use a terminal and that's what we're going to do in the next part of the video. Now I am in the Anaconda Navigator and we're going to open up the Streamlit application. So in order to do that, we have to go to Environments and select the environment that contains Streamlit. In my case, that environment is called Streamlit Demonstration. And then we press this button and press Open Terminal. So once in the terminal, we have to change directory to the directory that contains the Python script that creates the Streamlit application. So I type CD, that stands for Change Directory, and then I will go to the directory that contains my Python script. So in my case, it is Documents, YouTube, Python, and then Streamlit Demonstration. So once in this directory, I type Streamlit, run, and then the name of the script, more specifically name of the Python script. So now I press enter. And we see that the Streamlit application has opened. One thing that I can say is that if we change something in the Python script, so let's say that I change this title. So I go to the Python script and for instance, I type in some T's here. Now I save the script. And when we go back to the Streamlit application, we have the option of rerunning. So if I press rerun, we see that the title has changed. So in the next part of the video, we are going to go through the Streamlit application. Now we have our Streamlit application open and looking at it, we see that we have a navigation menu containing three sections. Purpose, Data Modeling and Next Step. Looking at the Purpose section, unsurprisingly, we see a description of the purpose of the application. Continuing to the Data or Modeling section, among other things, we see a scatter plot of the data. And if we would like to look at the raw data, we simply check this box, show raw data. If we would like to hide the raw data, we simply uncheck the box. Continuing down, here we see a visualization of the data and the model predictions represented by this red line. So for example, when x is equal to 1, the predicted y value is around 7. And then looking at our prediction interface, if I type in the value 1 and then press predict, we see that the predicted y value is around 7. If I, for instance, increase the x value, let's say 2 times to 1.5, and then press predict, then we see that the predicted y value is around 8.4. And looking at the visualization, we see that when x is 1.5, y is around 8.4. Then we can go to the last section called next step. And there it says that you should read the get started part from the documentation. And doing so, you will be able to create some nice Streamlit applications. So if I press this link, then we can see the part that is called get started. So with that said, thank you for watching this video and good luck with creating your own applications. Bye.